Hey, it's Aisha Cogborn from CoachAisha.com, and I want to know who's in your top five. Let's talk about it coming up next. So we all remember the rollout of T-Mobile's top five program, right? I mean, you have people fighting with family members, upset with friends they've had since the fifth grade because I'm not in your top five. So we all have those people, right? It's the people that we talk to the most, that we always call on. And if you look at, at biblical wisdom, even just some of those well-worn cliches, there are a lot of, there's lots of conversation about choosing your associations wisely. And the people that you surround yourself with have a significant, I mean a huge, I mean humongous, tremendous impact on the types of results that you're going to see in your life and in your business. And so I want to share with you my top five characteristics for the people in your top five. Ready? Write them down. Here we go. Number five, you want to Find people who inspire you. The years that I've been coaching, one of the things that I've noticed is that far too often the, the vision that we have for ourselves is so much smaller than what we're truly capable of. So it's really important to make sure that you have people in your circle who really understand just how talented you are and what you're capable of so that they can push you to do even greater things. All right, here's number four. Number four, you want to have at least one person in your circle who is either smarter than you or more experienced than you in, in some important area. And the Bible tells us that plans fail for a lack of counsel, but in, in a multitude of advisors, with a multitude of advisors, they succeed. And so whether we really think about it or not, we're always talking to people about what we should do right. And so depending on who you're asking, they may or may not be giving you good advice. Three, number three, you need to have someone in your top five who will tell you the truth. We see it all the time. You know, these, these stories of famous people who have had these just, you know, heartbreaking um, you know, demises, whether it's through death or they've lost all their money or, you know, whatever it was. And most of the time it's because they've surrounded themselves with a whole bunch of yes men, people that will sign off on everything that they do. And so you want to make sure that you have people in your circle who will say, you know what, Aisha, I'm sorry. I understand that you're passionate about that, but that's just not a good idea. And yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you, my little feelings will be hurt and I may not respond to your text messages for two days, but I promise you, I will appreciate it in the long run. All right, and here is number two. Number two, you want to make sure that you have people in your top five who can celebrate your success. How many times has this happened to you? some wonderful thing happens. You get a new client, you hit a new, new sales record in your business, and you pick up the phone to call that friend and you're just on top of the moon and they say, oh, that's nice. And they tell you what they have for dinner. How heartbreaking is that? How frustrating is that? And, you know, sometimes it's because people are jealous. Sometimes it's because they don't understand what a big deal it is to you. I mean, there could be any number of reasons and we're not gonna talk about those in this video, but the bottom line is this, when you're excited about something, we wanna be able to call somebody who can share that with us and who won't, you know, belittle it. Oh yeah, you know, your little business is doing well. I guess that's good. Come on, who needs that in their life? So make sure you have somebody who can celebrate with you, be your cheerleader authentically. And number one, the most important person or people, hopefully all of the people in your top five can do this for you. You need people in your top five who can pray for you. And I have experienced this more than ever before in this season of my life. I mean, when something is going on with you, 
whether it's good, whether it's bad, you've got a, a, a very impactful decision that you need to make in your business or, you know, maybe something horrible goes, goes wrong, happens. You know, my mom was in the hospital not too long ago. My grandmother is in the hospital right now. Um, I don't want to call my friends and then they say, oh, well, you know, I'm really sorry that happened. And that's it. I want people in my circle who can say, you know what, Aisha, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for your grandmother. I'm going to pray that you make the right decision. And I know the power of prayer, and I hope that you do too. And so to be able to have that type of power in your life through your friends is so critical to your personal and your professional success. So make sure, again, that you've got people in your circle who inspire you to be better, who will tell you when you're wrong, who can celebrate your successes with you, who are smarter than you or more experienced than you, and most important, who can pray for you. So that's my top five. Check out your circle. You may have some people that need to be bumped and some people that need to be moved in. But do what you have to do. Trust me, you will be glad you did. Until the next time we chat. <laughs>